YouTube Nation, Main Event TV, aka Me TV, aka Why I'm gonna get my next Godzilla movie? Cause Final Wars is badass and I need me another one. AKA Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. AKA Japanese gaming has taken a loss today in Capcom. Yes. Capcom. Once again, Capcom. What is going on? I keep doing all these Capcom videos. Guys, get your heads out of your asses. Look, Capcom has taken another hit today with their ego because their best, one of their best men actually, Infune, aka NF King, aka the creator of Mega Man, Onimusha, the creator of Dead Rising, and so many more games that we have come to love, has resigned from Capcom. Yes, resigned, saying that he will never, ever work with Capcom again. Yeah, that's what he said. And he's looking for a new company to work with, but he needs some mountains to climb, which tells me he's done everything he's can at, uh, was it, at Capcom, and Capcom hasn't challenged him. This is the problem with Capcom. They stay the same. You have to understand that Capcom, and even, was it, even other Japanese developers, because Infune goes on record and says that, you know, Japanese gaming is either dying or already dead. I beg to differ because there are so many games coming out even next year that look great with Japanese gaming. Now, with that being said, you also have to look at where this has started. You have to realize that the average Japanese gamer plays two things. Handheld games, right? And what? The Wii. Motion control game. Yeah. So they're just now starting to cross over slowly but surely to HD gaming. What you have to understand is that this has been 20 years or so in the making, if you think about it. Everyone likes to have motion gaming, but you have to think, back in the day Nintendo, what do we have? The power pad, where you round the pad and you jump you the track and field. Then arcades slowly but surely started getting big. And then what took over arcades? Anybody? I'm not talking fighting games. No, that's a given. Dance Dance Revolution. There were lines just around the corner waiting to play Dance Dance Revolution. Groups of people. They would come in packs just to play with each other. You have to understand that this was a big thing. This is, once again, motion gaming. Now that we have that, arcades are pretty much shut down now. Everything is the home console and the convenience of their own home. And what do you have now? The Wii, the Move, the Kinect. All these things, motion gaming, dancing on all of them, this is what they do. All right? Japanese developers have put themselves in a box and they don't know how to get out of it. That's the problem. But there are certain Japanese developers that are still innovating. And uh, developing places like, uh, was it, with teams like Le Level 5. Seriously, the, there's plenty of innovation to go around. But you also have to understand that you can't just say, I'm going to innovate right out the door. Most games these days, matter of fact, a lot, I'll say a, a good 95% of games today are what? Mimic and tweak. That's all it is. Mimic and tweak. That's all it is. It's the same gameplay. If you realize this, you have to realize this, you can go on, if you don't believe me, go on any forum today, today, and go look at Castlevania Lord of Shadows, and what argument will you see? Castlevania is nothing but God of War. That blah, blah, blah. That's all it is. But what they fail to realize is that God of War, Castlevania, all those types of games, Dante's Inferno, they all got it from one thing. Devil May Cry. All they did was take it, tweak it, and innovate slightly. That's all this is. That's all it is. Every game now that's not an FPS is what? Apocalyptic worlds in the city. You have to realize that there's more to just innovative in innovation in gaming. All right? It's not just gameplay. It's it's style. It's it's the way it's, you know, art style. It, it's the world you're immersed in as well. You have to understand this. If everyone looks the same, what's the point of buying every product? It's the same thing over and over. And I keep hearing about Western, they keep saying Western developers are beating us this, that, and the third, and then you hear Western developers jump back at them and start making fun of them. If you don't believe me, look at Bethesda's comments. This is getting ridiculous. Do we, what Japanese developers have to realize that places like Bethesda, if it wasn't for Japanese gamers, they wouldn't even be around, okay? They're inspired by Japanese gaming, no matter how bad they keep saying they're not. This is how it all started, okay? So yeah, they're in any any place that makes a game is what? Inspired. They have to. You have to be inspired to do this type of work. But they don't want to see it that way. And Japanese developers keep thinking, oh, well, you know, we're going to go down because they're getting so many numbers. So they're trying to be. Don't try to be like them. Be you. They will follow you. You started this. You can end this. All right. That's all you have to do. But it seems like you've run out of ideas. You need new blood. And I'm talking about blood that has earned it. I'm talking about blood that has so many good ideas that it doesn't make any sense. But the, what they keep doing in these places is just trying to get rid of older people and just throw these new guys in who haven't earned anything. If you don't believe me, look at Square. How many times have we seen? Look, at, look where they're at now. They have absolutely nothing going on right now. Matter of fact, they're getting ready to go bankrupt. People selling any stock from Final Fantasy 14 and can't... Stop. 
Well, the fact is, Japanese gaming has a long way to go. We've seen games like Okami get great reviews. Even though it didn't sell well, they had great reviews, it was great. Games like Shadow of Colossus. There's just so many games out there that are innovative, but people, it seems, at least here in the Western market, don't like innovative. It's a very niche crowd. That's all it is. Everybody wants their guy to be badass and, and have like a thousand muscles. Like, look, guy, you have to you have to build the story, make that guy an everyman, and make and build him up to that first. You just don't start out, out the gate with this big ass dude and just think, oh, that's badass. That's not the way to go. But no one wants to listen. Yeah, everyone just thinks that, you know, this is what's going to sell. Well, guess what? People are getting tired of that too. You know how many people I know that love Gears of War that say now, fuck Gears of War? I'm sure they'll come back around with three later in the year, but I mean later next year, but still. No one likes that anymore. It's getting it's getting overrated. It's getting it's been drawn out too much. They did the same thing with Nier. All right, they switched the characters with Nier. Square when they brought it over to the, the Western market, they switched the character completely because they didn't think that anyone would like the the slender girlish type guy. They just thought they want some guy who looked like he's been playing football all his career. So they got this old guy with these big muscles. Like no, you should have stuck to your guns. You're never doing that. But there are at least three games I see on the horizon this year that look very promising. Games like Ashley Crab, Catherine, and El Shaddai have promise, and that's only three of the many that we'll see probably next year to come. And for those who like those type of games but didn't see enough video, I will put the links in the info bar so you can see the trails in its entirety. But let's get back on Japanese developers real quick, because it seems like they are lacking confidence. It seems like they're lacking heart, which they shouldn't. They should not be at all, because what they fail to realize is that given their long history, their track record, any game that comes out now is usually a spawn off of their ideas. They should be happy, but instead, they're panicking. Don't panic. Stop looking at the numbers and saying, hey, this is where the market's going. Let's go there. No, don't follow them because it's flooded already. We don't need another recipe for disaster. What you need to do is stick with variety. Stick with a different genre. Make it individual. That's what gives us individuality. What you need to do is worry about yourself. Go with your gut. Stop looking at numbers and go with your instinct. Stop being stupid, stupid. It's brought you to the game in the beginning, then, and it will now. Do not worry about it. Take that energy that you were worried about other companies and other games and everything and put it into your own product and you will have a successful product. You really will. I know I'm on a roll, but it doesn't matter. I'm getting ready to go. I will talk to y'all then later this week. Another video coming for games. Talk to y'all then. I'm out.